Hi guys, this is Miss Miller and I'm the Messy Art Teacher and I wanted to share with you a tip on how to take a worksheet that you've created and then go ahead and convert it into something that your students can easily use and edit while we're doing this distance learning at this time. I'm going to share a link to the teacher that I got this from on YouTube. I just thought it was an awesome tip. She has some other tutorials that you might want to check out. Okay, so I'm in Google Slides, okay? so. You can notice that my slide size is different than normal. If you want to change it from the default size, you would go to File, and then you're going to go down here to where it says Page Setup. Okay, so I set mine to Custom. I think by default it's like widescreen 16 by 9. Custom is where you want to set it to. You're going to type in 8.5 by 11 inches, and then you're going to hit Apply. All right, so right now I have the worksheet here, and I already have the little clickable little text boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new slide. So I'm going to left click on the little drop down. I'm going to go to a blank slide and there's my blank slide right here. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to change the background. So I'm actually um, changing the background. Okay, so in the menu bar I actually go to slide and this is where I'm going to go to change background. I left click on that and you can choose an image. So I'm going to click choose. I'm going to hit browse and I'm going to upload a JPEG. Okay, so I'm going to left click on this JPEG version of the worksheet that I have and I'm going to hit open. And it's just got to upload first and then it's going to apply that and I hit done. So now you can see it right there. They can't click on it. It doesn't cause anything to reformat. So now what I need to do is I want to add one of those text boxes that they can click in and type. Okay, so I'm going to use the little text box icon by left clicking on it. Then I'm just going to left click and drag to make the text box. Okay, so now I'm going to type in click here to type. Okay, so now they'll know that they can left click on that and they can type. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and I want to repeat the text box. So while it's actually highlighted with the blue anchor points, I'm going to hit Command C if you're on a Mac or Control C if you're on a PC. And then I hit Command V to paste or you would do Control V. Okay, so I'm left clicking and I hold and then I can just start dropping my text boxes and I just quickly repeat this over and over again. Okay, so then you can have your document and students can go ahead and easily um, type in this. And then if you want to share this with your students, just make sure you make a copy. Okay, because if you go ahead and share the actual original document with them, they'll be editing the original document and you'll probably want to keep a copy for yourself. Okay, so anyways, um, that's a great tip um, to help you out um, to hopefully during this time while you're trying to do distance learning with your students. Okay, thanks for listening.